This year's Dave Donaldson Invitational Gymnastics Meet began last Saturday with a tribute to former Wheatmore and Vocoop gymnast Rob Miller, who was killed in battle in Afghanistan on January 25th. Miller was a leader on the first co-op team to qualify for state in 2003. As if inspired by Miller's accomplishments, the gymnast in the meet that ensued delivered a performance that whet appetites for the state meet. Seven of the top 11 ranked teams in Illinois were on display, including this week's number one, Lincoln Way Co-op. Coach Skip Adamson's team ran away for, with the title, scoring 161.27. The fight for the remaining spots, however, was especially heated. West Suburban Silver Team, Cincinnati Central, and Lyons Township came up 7th and 8th. Another WSS school, Glenbard West, came in a solid 4th after hitting a season best two days earlier and breaking the 150-point barrier for the first time in Coach Steve Kafka's final season. Ryan Webster and Alex Pager stood out on Saturday. Lake Park, without freshman all-arounder Jesus Soto, led its seniors carry it to 6th. Mike Hannigan finished second on still rings. The previous night, Lake Park won its own invitational. That left it up to the top two teams in the DuPage Valley Conference to fight for second. Glenbrook North entered the meet tied for 10th in the rankings with Glenbrook South. The Panthers, and especially Tyler Arl, responded to the challenge. Their season high 150.80 bumped the Titans to fourth. Wheaton Warrenville Co-op also was ready for its best meet of the year. The host team stood up as the DVC favorite and claimed second place with 152.35. Junior vaulting champ Tim Kruger finished fourth in all around and senior Clark Kessery was sixth. In the next three weeks, we'll learn how many of these teams will make it to this year's state finals.